Are you ready to dominate your next game? Today I've got a circuit for you that's going to help you improve your ball handling, your shooting, your scoring around the rim, your stamina, your speed, your ability to do moves off the fly, and a ton more, and it's all packed into three quick, fun, and challenging drills. Coach Jesse Minshew with Get Handles Basketball, where we train harder and smarter so you can play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you can catch all the newest videos. And if there's any other part of your game you're looking to improve, make sure you search my channel. i got hundreds of videos. But if for some reason I don't have a video on the thing you're looking for, leave me a comment, let me know. I'll try to get you on ASAP. Make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video because I'm going to link you to a couple other YouTube videos. One that's going to help you instantly help you improve your handles like in seconds and another one that's gonna do the same thing for your shot. So let's jump into the first drill in this circuit. All these drills I'm gonna show you with cones, but you don't need cones. You can really put any kinds of objects up on the court. It could be shoes, chairs, garbage cans, or you could just imagine there's something on the court if you don't have the option for any of those. So one of the biggest keys missing from players training is they don't get the necessary speed in with their moves, um, pushing their limits on that, and also with their scoring. So this circuit's gonna work on it. So it's very important you time yourself when you do this. We're gonna start with cones all set up around the court. The first one's gonna be close to the baseline on the three-point line, and all you're gonna do is a right hand inside out, and you would start your timer right before you go into this. So inside out to come around this cone on the right side. Once you get to the next cone, you're gonna have that set up at foul line extended, so as the foul line comes out, you'd put it on the three-point line at that same spot. Cross over to get past that cone, and again, when you're doing these, imagine like you're, they're defenders and you're trying to pull off your moves quick. As soon as you get back around that cone, you're going to want to switch hands. So cross over to get past it on the left side, cross back over to put it back into this hand. From there, you're going to work your way up to the cone at the top of the key, right at the three-point line. Step in with your left foot if the right hand is dribbling. Opposite foot in so it comes past the three-point line. Step back. So as you'll notice, we're working on a bunch of different moves. In and out, cross, cross, like a game would be. It's not always going to be the same move right in a row. So this is making it more game-like. Stepping back, from there you want to go into a between the legs dribble, be explosive again, treat it like a game. Next you're going to hit up this next defender, the cone, that's going to be about five feet in from the free throw line right in the middle, and we're going to go behind the back. So if you'll notice, we're working on all the game specific moves that we would do, the inside out, the crossover, another crossover, a step back, a between the legs, and a behind the back, and working on them all differently. So it's a little bit of a mental workout too to remember everything and treats it more like a game. So you hit this behind the back, and then you're gonna take a right hand layup. So you're gonna be working on that right hand layup. If you're a lefty, if you're a righty, it'll be easy. So after we get a rebound, we're gonna dribble out to this cone here, inside out again, but this time with the left hand to get past this cone on the left side, work our way to this cone, cross over to get past it left to right, right to left. Then we're gonna work our way up to this cone at the top of the key again. Once again, opposite foot steps in, so now the left hand's dribbling, right foot would step in to the three-point line, hop back between the legs, and we're gonna work our way to this cone. You know what to do, behind the back, get yourself a left hand layup, so if you're a righty, now you're gonna be working on that left hand, and then you would stop your timer. Do this 10 times, and every time, try to get that time lower and lower and lower. That's one way to tell if you're improving. In fact, leave a comment down below, let me know what time you got on this when you did it for your best time, and we, you guys can compete with each other in the comments and try to up each other's game. So I know that was a lot, so let's go through the whole thing all together so you can remember everything. Inside out, come to this cone, cross over to come around it, cross back over. When you get to this cone, step inside the three-point line, hop back between the legs. When you get to this cone, behind the back, get yourself the layup, and then repeat on the other side, exact same sequence. All right, so that last drill really developed our ability to cover some ground with our dribbles and get somewhere far with them, right? So you can keep the dribble a little bit higher, be more explosive and big with your steps. But there's also gonna be game situations where you have to be able to do things in tighter situations because there's gonna be more defenders around, maybe you're in the paint, maybe your defender's playing you close, right? So you also have to get your ability to keep those dribbles tight and work on that tight, more choppy type of footwork. 
So this next drill is gonna work on that. All you need to do for this is set up four cones, again, shoes, doesn't really matter, but make sure you got something to kind of mark yourself off that you know, okay, I'm being tight with my dribbles, and if you hit it, it'll give you that instant feedback. Okay, I kind of lost control, or I wasn't being tight. And you want to set them up a little bit more than shoulder width apart, about time and a half shoulder width apart for each one. Gives you a little bit of room to work with, but not too much, and you just need four of them. All you're going to do is start at the first cone, and we're going to go pretty similar sequence to before, but just changing a couple things. So we're going to start with the inside out with the right hand once again to come around this first cone. Cross over to get around the second cone. Here's where we're going to start changing things and just skip the second crossover and the step back. We're going to go right into the between the legs. So inside out, cross over, between the legs, behind the back. Once you come out of that last cone, you're going to take one more dribble, two if you need to, but try to get there in one so you're working on being quick and explosive. And again, you're going to time yourself with this. Stop at the elbow, pull up for the jump shot. After that, get your rebound, you're gonna come back to the top and repeat with the other hand. So it'll be left hand inside out, cross over, between the legs, behind the back, come to the right elbow, one or two dribbles, again, try to make it one, take your jump shot, see what time you got. Every time, try to lower that time. Again, do this 10 times. This will work on that speed and your conditioning a little bit. Also, make sure you're not taking too big of a breaks between each set. So, See what time you got, reset your timer, and go right back to the beginning to get the next one and try to beat it. Next drill, start out with two cones, about twice shoulder width apart. Again, you can put something else on the court. We're gonna stick with the same combos that we did last time, but work on doing them in a much different way. This is a great way for game situations to kind of set up your defender and get a read on them. And it's a very safe move, which is awesome. And what you can do from it is a lot of different things. It's a sidestep. We're gonna take all those moves we were doing before and do them as a sidestep. And from that, that's gonna give you the option in games if your defender doesn't quite react quick enough to get the jump shot off, or if they close out but they're too close, you can get the angle to drive past them. So we'll start square to one cone, and we're gonna go inside out and shuffle our feet to get square to this cone. Crossover, just like before, get square to this cone. Between the legs, shuffle the feet, square to this cone, behind the back, square to this cone. Once we come off of this cone, we're going to change things up. We're going to come to the hoop as quick as we can, so try to minimize dribbles. One to two dribbles, hopefully, to get there, and you're going to go into a reverse layup, okay? From there, you're going to come back to the top again, and we're going to repeat, okay? Right back to the blue cone. Now we're going to go left hand inside out, shuffle, 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 behind, okay? Inside out, crossover, between, behind. Get to the basket in as few dribbles as possible. Get your reverse layup. Stop the timer, see what kind of a time you got. So as promised, here's the video. Click right here to improve your handles instantly. And here's the video that's gonna help you improve your shot. Be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you can catch all the newest videos and keep improving your game. And I'll see you in one of these two videos in a second.